Yeah, so hopelessness is defined as a negative outlook and a sense of helplessness about your future. So you feel helpless in changing your future. Why it's important for patients with heart disease is that it's highly predictive of serious complications and death in patients with heart disease. That really hasn't been determined why it's so highly predictive, but likely it has to do with that motivation and um, the, the feelings, the emotions, all of those things. So we developed an instrument that patients fill out a questionnaire and they answer questions and we have quantified both state and trait hopelessness. State being how a person feels today versus trait hopelessness is how they feel um, over time, so kind of a chronic habitual hopelessness. They're very closely related. Um, in fact, trait hopelessness, people with trait hopelessness have a higher chance of being depressed. Depressed is um, a mood disorder, so feeling um, uh, depressed mood, lack of um, interest in regular things in life. Uh, hopelessness is different in that a person can be hopeless without being depressed. It's just this feeling of helplessness and negativity. Um, we, the research that we have done has shown that they can be very separate from each other. Um, in that, we know that it's predictive of complications and death. There's not a lot of research out there as to what interventions work. And so the study we just did, I think, is important in that something as simple as exercise at home significantly decreased the hopelessness levels of these patients. And I say something as simple as exercise is a tough thing for all of us to do on a regular basis. Here we have patients that are moderately to severely hopeless. They, by nature, are not going to be motivated to exercise. So how do we get them to exercise? That I am hoping will be our next study. Uh, we're looking at doing an intervention to motivate hopeless people to exercise. And we hope to do that through some motivational techniques.